Oh yeah. What's up guys, this is ACE from NYC, Draven3907, bringing to you another vid. Alright, I'm just giving you an update and status on what's going on. Uh, I got these in the mail the other day. A couple of goodies. Uh, also, I know you see that big boy right there. Uh, before I get started, I want to let everyone know, right about now, you'll see the shout out, new shout-out system that I have on the upper left corner. Uh, I'm shouting everybody out on there. So when your name pops up, you know, hit like, comment, rate, subscribe, you know what to do. Um, so here we go. These two products, you know, I'm going to hold off to. This I cut open already. Didn't really look inside of it. Believe me, I didn't. I just want to make sure it wasn't a bomb or nothing. Just joking. I knew it was a package, but I didn't have time. I had to leave. I had a client to meet up with, so cracked it open, but I didn't really get the chance to look at it. All right. Let's get that out of there. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is nice. And this is definitely from Max Amps. I could have told you that. Nitro Killer. Wow, 70 mile an hour club. Uh, thank you, Josh, from Max Amps. Holla at your boy. Alright, so that's the 70 mile an hour club. Got some uh, Max Amp stickers. Oh, I'm going to do a nice car. Simple. I'm going to do a nice car, especially with these colorful ones. Thanks, Max Amps. Thank you very much. And let's get this bad boy out. Oh. 100 mile an hour club. Another Nitro Killer shirt. That's hot. That's hot. Thank you once again, Josh from Max Amps. That is hot. I'm definitely rocking this. All right. Let's get this out of the way. And let's get to the other goodies. All right. Now, with the Mamba XL2, what I'm starting to see is a lot of videos on it. But nobody's really giving a, a real description on it. I know you can go to the website and look up for information, but some people like it verbally, you know, and people like when you open it up with them and, you know, explore certain things with it. So let's take a look at this thing. All right. It is big. I'll tell you right now. This thing is huge. All right. Shake that off. Sorry, Mob XL2. The first thing I did notice about this is, look at that, 8S light bulb, 34 volts max, and 5 amp BEC. So, <clears throat> knowing that right there, just off the head, that'll let me know now that if anybody's just running a tra uh, stock Traxxas Traxler, Traxler, Rustler, servo steering servo and receiver you really don't need to get an external BEC it has an internal BEC that regulates it to 5 amps so you will not fry your servo or your receiver okay so that's something that um, is good to know what I do notice is where's the on switch okay I might have to read on that one there's no on and off switch. Uh, here's some leads. These obviously go to the receiver. Um, this is the connection to your battery. And uh, this is to your connection to your motor. Now, if you do have this and think you're going to slap on um, uh, 22 kV, you're not. Um, these connectors are a different, different millimeter. So you, either you convert the other ones uh, or you convert this if you're going to be using it like a 22 kV setup or 2650 kV setup, you switch these connectors. All right. 
Um, now, if you or if you're not using uh, stock <coughs> servo and receiver, you will need an external BEC. Okay. And the one to go with will be uh, Castle Creations BEC Pro. Okay. And this is a high voltage uh, BEC, which is pretty good. Let's see if I can pull this out with one hand. Drop. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Now, this bad boy, and it looks confusing, I know it does. Um, you can regulate this from 20 amps, uh, max output. Uh, this thing can uh, take up to 12S which would be 50.4 volts max input. Uh, you can regulate it and it's adjustable output from 4.8 to about 12.5. Um, so that's good. Most the most Traxxas uh, products are using about 5. So you really won't really have to adjust it. It will already have it there. But if you are using a different type of servo, like a Savok, okay, I bought this at my local hobby store, this amperage is, you can't see because it's small, I'll just tell you, it's 6 volt, so it's going to drain, so what I want to do is, so I don't short anything out, I want to put the external BEC, plus I'm running 8S, so I don't want to short anything out, so I'll definitely use this. It's not just about what you, uh, it is about what you, what lipo pack you are putting into the ESC. It's also what's coming out because that, it's always the littlest thing that always shorts out. I used to have a problem back in the day with the Castle fans on the old uh, Mamba Monster, the external Castle fans that you put on the motor. For some reason, them fans would always short out my um, ESC and I, I either would, short it out or fry it so you, you just want to be careful okay um, what else th can I talk about on this this here these leads here as you can see obviously go to the receiver this one is for your castle link you link it in this port here link port on the top and um, basically you link that to your computer and you can adjust it but it, it looks like I got a whole bunch of worms on the table. So this is how it goes. For people that don't know, there is a diagram that lets you know how to do this. I'll show you right here. There's a diagram right there. Okay, that uh, basically is it upside down? Oh uh, yeah, it is upside down. This diagram basically lets you know, and it also tells you for cars, planes helicopters, it gives you the whole shebang -a bang gives you all the uh, information on it also gives you a warning you cannot use uh, BECs parallel with it you don't want to do that, that would be a bad thing you'd be spending all this money for nothing so the initial setup with this BEC is you want to connect these two wires red with red and um, black with black I believe so, right? Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, it is correct, Amundo. So you want to do red with red, black with black. And on this end, there's two wires here. Okay? You want to put both wire, these two wires, into your receiver. Like, like normal. But on your Castle ESC, there's this little red wire in the middle. You want to take that out, and tape it up, and then plug this into the receiver. Because basically, this power button here, this power right here, is uh, for this, and it disables the the internal BEC that your uh, XL2 comes with. You're going to be relying on the external, which is much better. This one is much powerful than this external one, especially if you're not using uh, a stock Traxxas servo and uh, receiver. Um, basically, 
that's about it. The servo is a high torque servo. This is not the original price on it. Uh, it looked messy in the front, so I just put that there. But I did pick it up at Bruckner Hobbies. Shout out to Bruckner Hobbies in the Bronx. Tremont. What's good? You know, shout out to Danny. Uh, Felix. All those guys. Um, so, my new setup, and basically what I'm going to be doing is... Well, it speaks for itself. You see that Mamba XL2, you know where it's going. It's not like, oh, Draven, I don't know where it's going. Why would you get 8S? Oh, you know where it's going. What kind of new car are you do? No, no. You know where it's going. So I don't have to say anymore. But I, I just wanted to take the time and um, educate the people that are not educated. I'm not the best. But give you some type of idea. I don't want to give you false information. And I don't want you to buy this and not know what it comes with. You got to do your own soldering, obviously. If you want to change these wires, because this is 8 gauge. You got to change, you know, the wiring here. Um, and uh, for me, I'm going to do that because I'm running a 22, uh, 100 kV. I'm not messing with the 1717 motor. Or anything else bigger than that. You know, I'm loyal to the 22 kV, 2200 kV motors. So, um, this is it. Alright. Shout outs to everyone on the YouTube circuit. Uh, did I get any other, uh, did I get some stickers from Castle? They being cheap. Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Shout outs to Castle. Uh, I want the snake. It's alright. Uh, shout out to Castle. Uh, stay tuned. I will be coming out with a contest update. Uh, guys, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm a fair man. Y'all need to watch those videos because there's, there's something y'all missing. So y'all need to really dissect those videos. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I see a lot of comments up there, you know, and, and a lot of y'all making it easier for me to just like toss your name out because y'all not paying attention to the videos uh majority y'all you know you know who you are you got it but then you got other people that are copying you they're not even watching the videos they're just reading your comment so you know it makes it easier for me to be like when i'm doing process of elimination well like he got it wrong he got it wrong at least i'm trying to be fair and just give you a hint watch the videos in its entirety if you want to be a part of this contest and make sure you subscribe because I will be checking against subscribers and comments on that page please believe please believe uh, once again this is Draven 3907 I'm out <laughs>